How's it going, everybody? It's Ryan going to talk about the bench press, and I'm going to talk about some stuff I've been told throughout the years of lifting. Some are really good stuff. Some are not so great, uh, but they were useful at some point in my development because a lot of the time when we get really good at something, any particular lift, it's a lot of it becomes automatic. And some things, as we learn new techniques to kind of get more out of the lift, we, lose, we forget about the other techniques that we learn. So hopefully you'll hear something that you've heard before that uh, you will be able to um, re-implement or just be reminded of. So number one is having a good setup, unracking the bar correctly or having a liftoff that's right. That's number one. Number two is being consistent, which are basically the same as number one, being consistent with your setup, but also the way you hold the bar hand position. Number three Use leg drive. Learn how to push your legs into the ground. Plant them really well. Number four, staying tight. Tight everywhere, your shoulders, your stomach. Number five, get a big arch in your back. Number six, don't worry about getting a big arch in your back, which is what I heard at a powerlifting meet someone told me. Number seven, when you bench, you should feel like you're bending the bar. I first heard this from Mark Bell. Eight, uh, push yourself away from the bar. I first heard this on an Omar Esau video. Number nine, uh, number nine, tip number nine is take a deep breath and hold it. Number 10 is to press like a push press. I got this from Dan Green. I uh, heard him at a seminar. 11, number 11 is to tuck your elbows in tight as you lower the bar. Number 12, don't, but don't tuck your elbows in too tight. Uh, number 13 is to flare your elbows hard. Number 14, but don't flare your elbows too much. 15, uh, keep the bar deep in the palm. 16 is to have the proper grip position. I learned this from a powerlifting to win video with Izzy. I also read this in uh, Starting Strength with Mark Ripito. 17 is to strengthen your triceps, close grip bench, skull crushers, and uh, dips are my favorite. 18, learn to use your lats in the bench. And I think Mark Bell talks about this a lot, especially maybe end of uh, beginning of last year maybe two years ago. 19, tip is to turn the bench into a decline bench, which is sort of effective. If you can kind of picture it and feel that. Uh, number 20, the bench press is a full body movement. You're trying to get your whole body underneath the bar and exert everything you got. Number 21, pull your body to the bar. Pull your chest to the bar as you lower it. Number 22, use floor presses or board presses to improve lockout strength. Number 23, pull the bar pull the bar apart as you press. Number 24, be explosive and lift fast. Number tw 25, use speed bench to work on explosiveness. Number 26, strengthen your rear delts and rotator cuff. Number 27, squeeze the bar and try to crush it. Number 28, do a bench press program like Smoloff or Shaco. Number 29, squeeze your glutes. 30, tuck your feet behind your knees. This is great for getting an arch, a bigger arch in your back and bringing your chest closer to the bar, shortening your range of motion. Number 31, don't tuck your feet behind your knees. I, I messed around with this and I found out that tucking my feet behind my knees is, doesn't work for me. Number 32, press through the outside of your palm. Number 33, use a wider foot position, almost like a sumo deadlift. Number 34, pull or slide the bar out of the rack. This has helped me a ton in my setup. I got this from Dave Tate, but you, knew, you do need a specific kind of rack, like a J-hook is what it's called. 35, screw your shoulders back and down and use the weight of the bar to keep them clamped together. Uh, number 36, put your feet up on the bench to set your back position and clamp shoulder blades together. This is another one, this is another Dave Tate gem. Uh, number 37, be aggressive. Push like you're trying to drive the bar through the ceiling. Number 38, watch Johnny Candido's video on how to bench press. It's an older video, but it's pretty concise, and there's lots of stuff in there. It puts in context a lot of the cues that I mentioned. Number 39, watch Chris Duffin's video titled Lat Inv Involvement in Benching. You can search it, or there'll be a link in the description. It's a fantastic uh, unscripted explanation of the bar path and full body involvement. There's a bunch of uh, little gold nuggets at the end, uh, near the back half of the video. So be sure to listen to the whole thing if you do. Number 40, uh, watch Greg Knuckles' short video about tucking your elbows in wrong. It's a short two-minute video. uses screen capture while, using draw, well, while he drew, draws lines to explain biomechanic faults of the movement. I know it's impossible to remember every single thing I just mentioned here, but I'm sure you've heard at least 
a handful of them. If there's a cue or tip or maybe even a video that has helped you bench, please leave a comment below because I'd like to see it, hear it, or just get some feedback and maybe help out the community that's learning how to bench more. Uh, be sure to check out the videos I mentioned. They've helped me a ton. I've watched these videos multiple times, uh, especially Chris Duffins. I really like his approach. And in case you want more reading, links related to other articles, related links to bench pressing articles will be in the description as well. Thanks for watching. Click like if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you have a question. Uh, I wish you the best and happy benching.